Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. I just got some breaking news about Carnival Cruise Lines. Lots and lots going on. The latest is that they are right now attempting to raise $6 billion in cash to add to the $3 billion they have already. And we're now finding out they're going to have to pay interest rates approaching 12% interest to get the money unbelievable thanks for subscribing to my channel everybody i really appreciate it we're going to hit 50,000 subscribers today can you believe it thank you for giving my videos thumbs ups you have no idea how important those are to the algorithms of this channel really appreciate that thank you also your comments another important factor in my channel success whether you love what I'm talking about or hate it or have your own opinion or want to let me know some other news, please let me know with your comments down below. Um, tell me what you think is going on, and we'll keep on top of this. Thank you for subscribing to my Facebook group page, Traveling with Bruce, spelled with two L's. We're over 3,000 followers on the Facebook page, and we hang out there between my videos. We're having a lot of fun there. Also, thank you to those of you who are now following Instagram, Traveling with Bruce on Instagram. Jennifer is just blown away. We're at 525 followers. I mean, my gosh, it's fantastic. Let's get to the story at hand. The question is, uh, is Carnival going to go bankrupt or what? Um, people are just out and out starting to ask this question. I don't think so. Um, first of all, they have $3 billion cash on hand from what I know. Um, they're trying to raise six billion more uh, on a on a bond offering, senior note offering, and stock offering. It's a combination of the three. They're using uh, Bank of America. They're using uh, J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs to help them out. Um, story goes that of the bonds they were issuing, there was a, there was a bond worth three billion bucks that they were uh, looking to issue. Uh, and they had interest of $10 billion. So bankers, investors, pension funds, uh, long-term investment vehicles were looking to put $10 billion into the deal because, <laughs> why is it so popular? Because the interest rate is going to approach 12%. Uh, at the end of the day, Carnival is going to be paying 12% interest on, uh, on this money, but... Even with that, Carnival has decided to increase the allocation. And instead of taking a $3 billion bond offering, they're going to do a $4 billion bond offering and pay the interest. Hold their nose and pay it. Um, they're offering a convertible bond as well and some shares. And it sounds to me like they're going to end up raising more like $7 billion in cash instead of $6 billion in cash. Um, and that is today <laughs> just can you imagine raising seven billion in one day um and you're a company that is not flowing a single dollar in the front door it shows you the power of the company the company's assets are of course backed up mainly by 126 cruise ships and uh, they um uh, are easily able to raise 10 billion more if they wanted it at the drop of a hat despite the interest rate, obviously. Um, and what does this mean to the company? Just to give you folks an idea, the burn rate of Carnival is, generally speaking, a billion dollars a month. So they've now, they're now going to have enough money in the bank to last between eight months and 10 months, according to Wall Street uh, projections. But that is assuming that the company will burn a billion a month um, as an inactive concern. I personally don't think that's going to happen. They've already stopped paying out dividends. They've stopped their share buybacks. They've uh, stopped virtually all advertising. Uh, you're noticing on uh, on the network television shows when you're watching the news, you're not seeing cruise ships advertising at all right now. So they've cut that right off. They are cutting back, uh, probably going to cut back their salaried employees uh, somehow. But I think the first area where they're cutting back expenses, uh, obviously, is they're not burning as much fuel. The ships are uh, basically anchored and are burning maybe 5% of the amount of fuel they would normally be using, maybe 10%, because they're not going anywhere. Uh, number two, uh, the cruise line is reducing its uh, crew's crew numbers on board their ships so they're going to they're going to send people home uh, of course contracts end every month anyway so if this shutdown is uh, two months long for example 
uh, that would tell me a quarter to a 30% of their workforce would have their contracts ending at this time in any event. And so they'll send those folks home, drop 30% of the crew right there, and obviously their uh, cost will have dropped because they won't replace the 30% that they're letting go um, unless they are what we would deem as... Um, um, critical service members, uh, people like uh, the in the engine rooms um, on the bridge, uh, you know, the, these these high end employees. But um, I can see 80 percent of the crews on board these ships being let go, which means, of course, you need fewer cooks to cook for those who are left which means the kitchen staff is brought down. Um, it, it just goes across the board. Uh, um, if they do that between now and, and let's just let's just play the what if game. If this l shutdown goes past uh, May, because it's already gone past April, now it's going into May. If it goes into June or July or August, we're talking four or five months from now, then I would bet you uh, two thirds to three quarters of all of these cruise ships will be down to only 10 to 15 percent of their original crews. Um, that would be a savings of hundreds of millions of dollars a month, which of course then means that the amount of cash the company is raising now will ensure their survival for a year, a year and a half, maybe even two years without raising additional cash. So investors are saying, yeah, 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 here, here at 11 to 12 percent, 12 and a half percent interest. Yeah, sure. Yeah, how much you want? Here's, here's seven, here's 10 billion bucks if you want it. They take, they take six or seven. Um, they could raise 20 uh, if they had to. And uh, this would then survive them. Well, they'd probably go for about two and a half, three years without a single paying passenger. Do you think it'll take that long? I, I don't think so. I think what we're looking at here is uh, obviously several months of a shutdown, but then a partial reboot. And that's assuming other things don't happen. And that's where I speculated yesterday on my video talking to you folks about do you think possibly some of these ships might be utilized by countries around the world for uh, overages, for um, housing, emergency housing, or emergency medical, or um, a, a place to to uh, to uh, you know to to bring a ship in to uh, maybe uh, maybe Nassau for uh, housing homeless or uh, a place. Uh, a ship to be brought into Mexico to help with uh, additional um, beds, where they take pa they take patients out of hospitals that are that are uh, you know recovering from uh, ailments, nothing to do with the virus. Use the ship as a housing center for say three months, six months, and then um, and then when the cases of the virus drop, then people can be brought back to the hospitals after they're disinfected. Uh, I don't know. This could happen. There are 120 plus ships in the fleet of. Um, of uh, uh, Carnival under nine brand names. Remember, Costa is the Mediterranean division uh, and European division. Ada is the German division. Um, uh, p and in the UK, p and Australia. Uh, Cunard has four ships. Uh, of course, the Carnival brand, the Princess brand, and the Holland America brand. So these ships going forward could go from uh, you know, being blamed for everything in the world to, you know, we could use these for uh, emergency needs right now and we'll pay to rent them. Um, remember, they come complete with kitchens. They come complete with uh, with bathrooms uh, uh, and everything else. Now, there are people out there who are unbelievably critical of cruise ships, feeling that, oh, a boat is the last place anyone should be. Well, did you notice in New York the other day how many folks were waving the USA flag, welcoming in a hospital ship that was built in 1974 for, by the U.S. Navy um, into down into the harbor in New York? I mean, you got to be kidding me. On the one hand, they're proud of the ship that they have brought in. On the other hand, the uh, the cruise ships aren't good enough. You got to be got to be out of your mind. Uh, cruise ships definitely can be utilized for emergency needs. Keep in mind, they're designed to survive in really nasty weather. <laughs> if it's raining out and it's windy out, uh, cruise ships keep you warm and dry. Uh, they're designed to go through 100 mile an hour seas. Not that we would want to as tourists, but some of us have. Uh, they can handle that. Now, sitting a ship in a, uh, you know, anchoring a ship in a harbor where there is virtually no wave action there might be wind and rain action. 
uh, this is a piece of cake, a walk in the park for a cruise ship. So uh, Carnival could easily supply vessels to governments, to cities, uh, to territories for emergency aid. Remember, they can move them there where you cannot move a full-blown hospital from one place to another and to create one from scratch is unbelievable. Now, people have asked me also, they say, Bruce, gee, you know, I hate the fact that these uh, these vessels are flagged from a foreign country and you bring the, the vessel into, let's say, the United States to, to help with people. What about the people on board? Are, who's going to be working on these ships? Well, folks, you want the crew that's on the ship working the ship. They know it. They know all the systems. They know how everything works. They know how to maintain the entire vessel. But when it comes to healthcare professionals and other people, those would be Americans. Of course, they'll be the local people there that'll be brought onto the ship. So uh, people keep thinking these massive conspiracy theories that these cruise ships or cruise lines are trying to find a sneaky way to get taxpayer money for nothing. Now, there ain't no money for nothing, folks. Uh, you bring your ship in, you're paid to uh, to uh, lease it or rent it out, and uh, you bring the staff on board you need to bring on board, uh, which will be qualified local staff, and you take care of business. Um, but it's not forever. It's maybe a month or three months or five months, whatever the amount is. Whatever it takes, it takes. Well, like they say on TV nowadays, We'll all get through this together. All right. Well, to recap, uh, Carnival has been offered today $10 billion for a $3 billion bond offering. They're trying to raise $6 billion in total. They're likely going to raise $7 billion because the story now is they're going to take a $4 billion uh, uh, cash um, uh, injection instead of a $3 billion on the one bond issue alone. We'll find out later today how it all kind of comes out. It's not that it has to be done today, but the bankers are already saying this thing is triple oversubscribed. But unfortunately for Carnival, the interest rate is going to be substantially higher than uh, what it used to be uh, a couple of weeks ago. But nonetheless, they'll grab the dough, put it in the bank, and pay the bills going forward. So the Carnival Cruise Line is not going under um, it's just going to be more in debt than it was before. But what company isn't out there going into more debt? Um, I'm waiting to find out what certain hotel chains have to pay, what certain airlines are going to have to pay, and other businesses, are, what are they going to have to pay when they go to the market to try to raise capital? Um, the public thinks that everyone gets interest rates for, it gets loans for 2 or 3% interest rates. Uh, no, it's... Uh, deemed by the investors they decide what uh, what you'll pay and how much you can get anyway there it is uh in the meantime folks play uh, stay warm stay safe stay healthy i'll try to keep you posted on the latest have a good one for now bye-bye